Hey guys, I've got the KZ Sportsman 2022 181BH here. I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough for you just so you guys can see it. Power awning, dual outside speakers that are also inside zone control as well. Here's that big pasture storage underneath the bed access. Big pasture on a little single axle. Single 20 pound LP tank. The other side of that storage. Now, if it was something where you'd want to put a slide out topper, that's going to mount right over top. It mounts on your corners here, oops, corners here, and in the front here. So, anytime that slide goes in and out, you don't even have to mess with it. And mostly it's that rubber material on the roof. See if I'm tall enough to get you up there. That's what you got to make sure is clear when you're running that slide in. Get your power receptacle over here, water heater access as well. Fresh fill, city water connection. Here's your dump station, low point drains. All of it's all kind of right here, which is really nice. Crank down jacks, really not too bad. There is a jack in the front compartment or a handle that you can crank that down with. Otherwise, I think it's a three quarter inch socket. If you use it just on a cordless drill, don't go too crazy and don't over torque it either direction because they're not load bearing. So you don't want to go too tight, but just snug with the ground and you're good. Really easy to use. That bumper end caps do pop off. So you can put your black, uh, your black tank hose, your sewer hose in there. Obviously we've got the bumper mounted spare, rear backup camera prep. Back to this side with our power awning. All right, now let's go to the inside. So first thing right away you're gonna notice you've got three big windows right in the front, uh, one on each side of the bed and the one at the nose. Storage above, let me get that open. And that is pass through, so that goes all the way to the other side. USB in the front corner, that little cap just flips open, two USB ports, two outlets on this side. Radio control is here, now that is Bluetooth. Uh, you've got an HDMI cable that you can hook up as well as USB. Uh, and this is where you control those speakers that are on the outside and the inside. So you can do inside and outside at the same time or one or the other, either way. Main controls, pretty standard on most uh, campers now, are gonna be the buttons. Sometimes it's a digital, but that's usually on your high-end stuff, kind of your big old fifth wheels. So this is your slide control, in to run it in, out to run it out, super easy, same with the awning. And then you've got accent lighting, awning light, and your main ceiling lights. You got another big window right here. So my camera cut out on me. There's gonna be a little cut in here, so apologies in advance. Left off with the big window here and the dinette here. I've got it in the bed position just so that you can see it. Super easy to operate. The two cushions right here are your backrests on each side where those Velcro holders are. Those just go up. You can pop the table up and put it on the pedestals. Uh, those mount just to these little pucks underneath. You can, and the table just sits on those cleats, that black cleat on each side. Might be dark brown, but. Um, if you have this down in the travel position, which is fine, slide's gonna be in, you can use underneath there for a little extra storage. Just move the actual legs out of the way. Um, you can stuff some stuff in there if you want. Uh, you've also got storage underneath each end. Sorry, I'm a little close, but that lifts up. You got storage right underneath. There. One thing you'll notice, sorry, is they're actually putting plywood underneath your bench seats, which, I mean, opposed to OSB board, or particle board, I mean, you're getting a heck of a lot better quality there. Same thing underneath your bed, which is a really nice um, quality upgrade. Because the last thing you want is just to go lay down and you, you puncture through your materials. Um, we're going to come over here because I've got the fridge door open. 12 volt fridge, it's 8 cubic foot. 
No cooling fins you'll notice in the back, so you get an insane amount of depth there. Same thing up here in your freezer. So as opposed to a standard gas electric, that's a two door like this. You're usually getting about two more cubic feet. You can run it while you're going down the road on electric because it's gonna run off of just your battery or when you're plugged in. Nice thing with that running off your battery <clears throat> is your truck, your vehicle, is going to charge your battery while you're traveling. So you don't have to worry about it drawing off any of your power and running out of battery once you get to where you're going. You've got two windows in your bunk area, one on each bunk. And with that lower bunk being as low as it is to the ground, super easy access. And the upper bunk, instead of being about a foot taller, you get a lot more headroom that way too. So you got, we got your outlet here. I do have storage underneath the sink and the burner. This right hand side, you've got little plastic drawers that can slide out. It's not on a track, but you can pull them in and out. Um, and with it being plastic, if you wash some silverware, you know, you're cleaning a fish, you gotta find somewhere to put your fillet knife or whatnot, you can put it in there, it's not gonna damage anything. All three of the other compartments are connected underneath your sink. So you've got two tiers here and two here as well. So lots of storage underneath there. Two burner cooktop, single compartment sink, Furion microwave, which another nice thing that I like about these guys, the microwave, one, it's deep. You've actually got some decent depth in there. It's not gonna be as wide as your residential, but anything that's gonna fit on your turntable is gonna fit in any of these cabinets. They're a very large opening, so you don't have to worry about trying to angle your plates just to stick them in there. Radio controls are here. Um, I think I might've already gone over that in my other one, so I'm gonna sneak back and I'll rewatch it and find out. We're going to move on to the bathroom, but before we do that, here's our furnace control. So this is the thermostat for just your furnace. Obviously, cooler, hotter, warmer, all you do is slide this guy, that's it. It locks in in the off position so that if you bump it, it's not going to just go on. you got to wiggle it a little bit. Your AC controls are going to be on that AC unit itself. I'll go over that here in just a second. shower pan and a little skylight vent up here as well now that's a manual crank super easy to use this guy just twists open and that lifts up if you get a vent cover a max air vent cover cam coat whatever brand you like this goes on top of this and you can leave this guy open all the time you're not going to get water in there if you do something like that then you just have a little extra ventilation you just have to remember to close it if you're running your ac also got my tank readers, my water pump, and the um, water heater in here as well for your control. So this is going to be gray black fresh tank in your battery reader. Oops, sorry. Gray black fresh and your battery. So when this has got power, you just hit this and it's going to tell you what level your stuff is at. So if your tanks are full, either empty or uh, low, empty or full, for um for your tanks and then i think when that lights on you're, you're it's just it's full so you don't want to mess with that actually i did that backwards empty a third two thirds and full at the top <clears throat> the c and everything next to it is going to be um actually i'm not sure what those letters are next to it i'll have to double check on that one water heater on this side. So that's going to be the electric side of the water heater. And this is going to be just for your water pump. All right. <clears throat> Swinging back out here. All right. Again, with the camera cutting off on me, it's just hot in the camper. So it's overheating my phone. That's all it is. Controls for your AC are going to be on the unit itself. Like I was telling you about your top. So your left side, this guy right here is going to be for your fan speed. 
and the one on the right is going to be the thermostat. Obviously, red is going to be warmer, blue is going to be cooler. The little knobs on each end, these guys, are going to be for how much your air is coming out of here. So, right now, I've got it blocked. I don't know if you can tell in there. Here we go. That black flap in there is going to close it off when you have it in this position. If I go this way, all the way opens it up. That's how you're going to dictate your airflow. So if you want to get more on this side towards the rear of the coach, you're going to want to leave that one wide open and close off the one in the front. Or just leave them both wide open because you're going to cool off pretty quick with a 13.5 BTU, uh, 13.5 K BTU on this little guy. So that's going to do just about all of it for me here. One little quick overlay. And sorry, I didn't get the cushions perfect when I put them back. Now, another thing that KZ is doing, they've got your 5 8 inch uh, tongue and groove plywood as your floor decking as well. And that linoleum that goes over top has a seven year cold crack warranty, which is a really nice feature. Now, um, while we're going over warranties, KZ's got your one year manufacturer warranty, three year structural warranty, and a, I believe it's either 15 or 20 year warranty on the, um, Dicor rubber roof membrane itself. Now that's going to be for defects, workmanship, kind of stuff like that. We've got a friction hinge on the main door. So if it's windy, it's not going to slam it shut. If it's really windy, I mean, if you got gusts over 15 miles an hour, it's going to push it, but it's not going to slam on you. <clears throat> you can add a holder to the door if you do really want it just held open no matter what. And it's a super easy add on. But that about does it for the Sportsman 181BH. If you've got any questions on it, let me know. Talk to you guys soon.